We are in lesson 379. This is a spelling dictation exercise. I will dictate two syllable words and we're going to be working with either syllable rule one or syllable rule two governing the way we divide each of the individual words in this dictation lesson. Syllable rule one says that if you have one consonant between two vowels in a word, you divide the syllable after the first vowel and before the consonant. And we write the number one above the word, slightly to the right of the syllable division line, as you can see on this screen with the red numbers above silent, evict, and photo. Syllable rule two says if you have two consonants between vowels in a word, you divide after the first consonant and before the second consonant, and that's syllable rule two. And again, we write the number two above the word, slightly to the right of the slanted division line. The procedure for marking words is as follows. First, step one, we look and identify any consonant or vowel teams in the word by underlining those teams. If a letter represents its second sound, double underline that letter or letter team. If we have a silent E at the end of the word, identify it by underlining the silent E. Step two, we identify the vowel sounds in the word by placing dots under the vowel sounds. If a word has two vowel sounds, we have a two-syllable word. If a word has three vowel sounds, we have a three-syllable word. Step three, if you have a multiple-syllable word, you have to divide it into syllables and we, at this point, apply the two syllable rules we just covered uh, in the previous screens. And then finally, we have to determine what sound the vowel in each syllable will represent, and we apply the six vowel group numbers that we've learned thus far in the program, and we associate an individual vowel group number with each vowel in each syllable in the word. So let's begin dictation now. Row one, the first word, is furnish, furnish. I can't wait to furnish my new apartment, furnish. Now all the words in this exercise are two syllables in length. The first syllable in furnish, fur, two sounds, f, er. Nish, three sounds, n, i, sh, furnish. Mark the word. So the first thing we do is we look for any teams in the word. If a letter represents its second sound, double underline that letter. And if you have a silent E in the word, underline it. In this word, we have two teams, a UR vowel team and an SH consonant team. So we underline them. Next, we identify our vowel sounds by placing dots under the vowels. We have two vowel sounds in this word. Now, because we have two vowel sounds, we have to apply a syllable rule. So we're going to count the number of consonants between our vowel sounds. And here we have one consonant, so we apply syllable rule one by writing the one above the word slightly to the right of the slanted division line. Finally, we now associate a vowel group number with each of the vowels in each of the syllables in this word. And in our first syllable, we have the R-controlled vowel team UR, so that's vowel group 5. And in the second syllable, we have one vowel followed by a consonant, and therefore vowel group 1 uh, is in effect, and I will represent its short sound. Again, the word is furnish. The next word is TP. TP. The man built a TP in his backyard. TP. First syllable T, two sounds. T, E. Second syllable P, two sounds. P, E. T, P. Now we mark the word in following the procedure outlined previously. First thing we do is look for teams, consonant or vowel teams. If a letter represents its second sound, double underline it. If we have a silent E at the end of the word, underline that silent E. Here we have two vowel teams, so we underline EE. -E. 
in both instances. Next, we identify our vowel sounds by placing dots under the vowels. We have two vowel sounds. Now we have to apply a syllable rule number. So we count the number of consonants between the vowels. We have one here. So syllable rule one will apply. Finally, we associate a vowel group number with each of the vowels in the word. Both of these syllables contain EE, which is a vowel group four team. Vowel group four is when two vowels come together and the first vowel represents its long sound. T P. The next word is latent. Latent. Latent means to be hidden or concealed. Latent. This is a two syllable word. The first syllable is lay, two sounds. L, A. Second syllable, tent, four sounds. T, E, N, T. Lay, tent. Let's mark the word, identify vowel teams, consonant teams, letters representing their second sounds, or a silent E at the end of the word. You'll notice none of those elements are present, so there's no mark made at this point. Now we identify our vowel sounds by placing dots under the vowels. We have two vowel sounds in this word, thus we have a two-syllable word. Now we count the consonants between our vowels. We have one. We apply syllable rule one above the word. Finally, we associate a vowel group number with each of the vowels in the word. In the first syllable, we have one vowel at the end of the syllable. According to vowel group two, that vowel will represent its long sound. In the second syllable, we have one vowel followed by a consonant. The vowel will represent its short sound according to vowel group one. Lay tent. Now, I'm going to just dictate the remaining words in exercise 379. And... Um, once we have spelled the word, I'll ask you to pause the video and you can mark the word and then you can advance the video screen to see if you've marked it correctly. So the next word is dispute. Dispute. The two brothers got into a dispute. Dispute. First syllable, dis, three sounds. D, I, S, pute. Three sounds. P, U, T. Dispute. Now here I want you to pause the video and mark this word completely. Once you've completed marking it, advance the video screen to check your marking against the video itself. Dispute. We do have a silent E here, so you want to be sure and underline that E. The silent E serves as a signal that the U is going to represent its long sound according to vowel group three. Row two, shimmer, shimmer. The water did shimmer at sunset. Shimmer. First syllable, shim, three sounds. Sh, i, m. Mer, two sounds. M, er. Shim, Mur. Pause the video, mark the word, and when you're ready, advance the screen. Shim Mur. Lawyer. Lawyer. I think you better call a lawyer. Lawyer. This is a two syllable word. Now we exaggerate the pronunciation of this word somewhat to conform to the actual spelling of the word. This is a spelling technique that we develop throughout this program. We have a spoken vocabulary, which is the way we pronounce a word in normal conversation. But when you're spelling a word, you want to pronounce the word as closely as possible to the actual spelling of the word, which sometimes will cause you to exaggerate or distort the pronunciation somewhat. But that's fine. That's a good technique to remember how to spell particular words. And this word is an example of that. Our spoken pronunciation is lawyer. But for spelling, mentally pronounce it to yourself, law-yer, law-yer. First syllable, law, two sounds, ol, aw. 
Second syllable, yer, two sounds. Y, er. La, yer. Mark the word. La, yer. And again, that's the spelling pronunciation. The actual spoken pronunciation is lawyer. Footprint. Footprint. There is a footprint at the beach. Footprint. First syllable, foot, three sounds. F, u, t. Second syllable, print. Five sounds. P, r, i, n, t. Foot, print. Mark the word. Foot, print. Notice OO is double underlined here. Remember, OO can represent two sounds. The first sound is oo, as in boot. But what do you put in a boot? A foot. And in foot, OO represents its second sound, u, uh, foot. The next word is edict. Edict. The government published an edict. Edict. Two syllables, first syllable E, one sound. Second syllable dict, four sounds. D, I, K, T. E, dict. Mark the word. E, dict. Now the first syllable contains only one letter, but vowel group two is in effect because it is the last letter in the syllable. And so vowel group two says when you have a vowel that's the last letter in a syllable, it will represent its long sound. Row three. Pretend. Pretend. The children like to pretend. Pretend. Pre. Three sounds. P. R. E. Tend. Four sounds. T. E. N. D. Pretend. Mark the word. Pretend. Amend. Amend. I will amend the document and make changes. Amend. First syllable A. Second syllable mend. Four sounds. M. E. N. D. Amend. Mark the word. Amend. Torment. Torment. Please don't torment your pet. Torment. First syllable, tor. Two sounds. T. Or. Ment. Four sounds. M. E. N. T. Torment. Mark the word. Torment. Fluster. Fluster. The committee was in a fluster waiting for their guest. Fluster. First syllable, flus. Four sounds. F. L. A. Uh, s. Tur. Two sounds. T. Er. Flus. Tur. Mark the word. Flus. Tur. Row four. Doctor. Doctor. The doctor will see you now. Doctor. Now, this word again, we're going to exaggerate the pronunciation a little bit to conform to the spelling. So, our spelling vocabulary pronunciation for this word is doctor. First syllable doc, three sounds. D, a, k, tor, two sounds. T, or. Doctor. Mark the word. Doctor. Again, we Pronounce the word doctor in pronunciation in normal conversation, but for spelling, pronounce it doctor. Female. Female. The female athlete at the school is the top in the country. Female. Two syllables, first syllable, fee, two sounds. F, e. Male, three sounds. M, a, Ol. Fee male. Mark the word. Female. Female. 
Ignite! Ignite! He will ignite a fire with those matches. Ignite! First syllable, ig, two sounds. I, g, night, three sounds. N, i, t, ig, night. Mark the word. Ig, night, ignite. Beset, beset. We are beset with enemies all around us. Beset, b, two sounds. B, e, set. Three sounds. S, e, t, be set. Mark the word. Be set. Row five. Founder. Founder. She is the founder of a thriving company. Founder. First syllable. Found. Three sounds. F, ow, n. Dur. Two sounds. D, er. Founder. Mark the word. Founder. Founder. Victor. Victor. The victor won the prize. Victor. Vic. Three sounds. V. I. K. Tor. Two sounds. T. Or. Victor. Mark the word. Vic. Tor. Here's another word like doctor where you want to exaggerate the second syllable a little bit in your spelling vocabulary to conform to the actual spelling of this word, victor. But the word in conversation is generally pronounced victor. Diner. Diner. I went to a diner and had a sandwich. Diner. Die. Two sounds. D. I. Nur, two sounds. N, er. Die, nur. Mark the word. Die, nur. Clutter. Clutter. Let's clean up all this clutter. Clutter. Clut. Four sounds. K, l, a, uh, t. Tur, two sounds. T, er. Clut, tur. Mark the word. Clutter. Clutter. Row six, orbit. Orbit. The satellite did orbit the Earth. Orbit. The first syllable is one sound or. Bit. Three sounds. B, I, T. Orbit. Mark the word. Orbit. Elbow. Elbow. I hit my elbow on the post. Elbow. L. Two sounds. E. O. Bow. Two sounds. B. O. Elbow. Mark the word. Elbow. Notice O W represents the long O sound here, so we put a four under it. O W can also represent the sound ow as in how, where. You would underline O-W and how and put a six under it to indicate you have a vowel team where the first vowel does not represent its long sound. Emote. Emote. An actor is taught to emote in a very theatrical way. Emote. First syllable, E. Moat. Three sounds. M, O, O. Emote. Mark the word. Emote. Vapor. Vapor. I can smell gas vapor in the room. Vapor. Now for spelling, pronounce it vapor. First syllable, ve, two sounds. V, a. Pour, two sounds. P, or. Vapor. Mark the word. Ve, Poor. Vapor. Row seven. Jester. The jester is a clown that entertains the king. Jester. First syllable. Jess. Three sounds. J. E. S. Tur. Two sounds. T. Er. Jess. Tur. Mark the word. Jess. Tur.
Jester. Hello. Hello, I would like to make a call. Hello. First syllable, hell, three sounds. <sighs> eh, ul. Second syllable, low, two sounds. Ul, o. Hello. Mark the word. Hello. Hello. A wait. A wait. We await your response. A wait. First syllable, a. Wait. Three sounds. Wa, a, t. A wait. Mark the word. A wait. Junket. Junket. The committee went on a junket to the island. Junket. Two syllables. First syllable, jung. Three sounds. J, a, ng. Ket. Three sounds. K, e, t. Junket. Mark the word. Junket. Notice N is representing its second sound because it's followed by the sound k. When N is followed by either g or k, it will represent its second sound. And we will double underline the N in that instance. Row 8, tempo. Tempo. The tempo of the band increased as they played the song. Tempo. First syllable, tem, three sounds. T. E. M, mm. po, two sounds, p, o, tempo, mark the word, tempo, tempo, detail, detail, every detail must be perfect, detail, d, two sounds, d, e, tail, three sounds, t, a, l, detail, Mark the word. Detail. Motel. Motel. I checked into a motel last night. Motel. Mo. Two sounds. M. O. Tell. Three sounds. T. E. L. Motel. Mark the word. Motel. Acute. Acute. He is an acute care specialist. Acute. A, one sound. Cute, three sounds. K, U, T. Acute. Mark the word. Acute. Row nine, ego. Ego. Check your ego at the door, please. Ego. First syllable, E. One sound. Go. Two sounds. G. O. E. Go. Mark the word. E. Go. Slipper. Slipper. My slipper is torn. Slipper. First syllable. Slip. Four sounds. S. L. I. P. Per. Two sounds. P. Er. Slip. Per. Mark the word. Slip. Per. Vulgar. Vulgar. That is a vulgar comment. Vulgar. Now for spelling, pronounce the word vulgar. First syllable, vul, three sounds. V, a, ul. Gar, two sounds. G, r. Vulgar. 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 Funnel. Funnel. We had a funnel cake at the fair. Funnel. First syllable, fun. Three sounds. F. A. N. Nell. Three sounds. N. E. L. Fun. Nell. Fun. Nell. Funnel. And our final row, row 10, pollen, pollen. I am allergic to pollen. First syllable, pol, three sounds. P, a, l. Len, 
three sounds. O, E, N. Pal, Len. Mark the word. Pal, Len. Pollen. Ruler. Ruler. I used a ruler to draw a straight line. Ruler. First syllable, ru, two sounds, r, u. Second syllable, lur, two sounds, ol, er. Ru, lur, mark the word. Ru, lur, ruler. Notice u in the first syllable is representing its second long sound. The second long sound for u is u. Remember, the way we remember that is the sentence, the dude rode on the mule. In the word mule, U is representing its first long sound where it says its name, U. But in dude, U is representing its second long sound, U. And when U represents its second long sound, we double underline it. Distinct. Distinct. I made a distinct ruling regarding that issue. Distinct. First syllable, dis, three sounds. D, I, S. Second syllable, tinked, five sounds. T, I, N, K, T. Distinct. Mark the word. Distinct. Notice the N is representing its second sound because it's followed by the sound K. And our final word, meter, meter, the man came to read the water meter, meter, first syllable, me, two sounds, m, e, ter, two sounds, t, er, me, ter, mark the word, me, ter, meter. This completes the dictation of the words from lesson 379.